Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As we all know, aging is a natural process that affects all of us. But have you heard of the new hallmark of aging called dysbiosis? As of January 2023, dysbiosis was added as a hallmark of aging. Dysbiosis refers to an imbalance in the gut microbiome, which has been linked to a range of health problems, including aging itself. But what if there was a way to combat dysbiosis and reverse the effects of aging? Enter Archimansia. This little known gut bacteria has been shown to have longevity effects and the ability to restore balance to the gut microbiome. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of Archimansia and discover how it can help you say goodbye to dysbiosis and turn back the clock on aging. Possibly. So what exactly is dysbiosis? Dysbiosis occurs when there's an imbalance in the types of amount of bacteria that live in our gut. A healthy gut microbiome has a balance of beneficial, the good bacteria, and pathogenic, the harmful bacteria, also known as pathobions. But various factors can disrupt this balance, allowing the pathobions to increase exponentially, leading to what's called dysbiosis. Some of these factors include antibiotic use. Antibiotics kill both the harmful and the beneficial bacteria in the gut, leading to this imbalance. Then you got the diet. A diet high in processed foods and low in fiber can negatively affect the gut microbiome, reducing the diversity and abundance of the good bacteria, the beneficial bacteria. Illness, illness and inflammation can cause the imbalance, hygiene, stress and depression. Chronic stress has been linked to changes in the gut microbiome, including a reduction of the good bacteria and increase in the bad bacteria, okay? A healthy gut microbiome is vital for many processes, like breaking down food and protecting us from germs. It also talks to other parts of our, of our body and affects our overall health. If the imbalance of bacteria in our gut is not correct, it's not right, it can cause a host, host of health problems, including accelerated aging. Microbiome stability declines with age due to illness and immune system issues, except in centenarians and supercentenarians. Studies show that these long-lived people's microbiome stability is on par with 30 to 50 year olds. It shows that age-related dysbiosis is mitigated in this group of extraordinary people. What exactly is Archimansia? Let's discuss this. Archimansia, with the full name Archimansia musinophila, is a type of gut bacteria discovered in 2004 by Mario Derian and Milham de Vos at the Wageningen University of the Netherlands. It is found in the digestive tract of humans and mammals. It is known for its ability to promote a healthy gut microbiome and is believed to have several health benefits, including anti-inflammatory effects, improved gut barrier function, and enhanced glucose metabolism. Studies have also shown that high levels of echinacea in our gut are associated with improved metabolic health, including low level of obesity and improved insulin sensitivity. In recent years, Akamati has become a topic of interest in the field of gut health and longevity research, with scientists exploring its potential as a remedy for dysbiosis. Akamati is found in our body, probably from the day we are born, and its concentration gradually increases into adulthood. However, by the time we reach 80, Akamati may have decreased by over 95%, except centenarians and supercentenarians, those are 105 or older, they have shown to high, have higher levels of it. Akimansi has been shown to improve gut barrier function and protect a leaky gut, known as intestinal permeability. It produces a substance called mucin, which helps form a thick layer of mucus that covers the gut lining. This mucus layer acts as a barrier and helps to prevent harmful substances from penetrating the gut barrier and entering the body and regulating the immune system from creating systemic inflammation. Akimansia also helps against heart disease, metabolic problems, and as I said earlier, gut issues. A protein from its membrane called AMUK 1100 can improve health problems related to obesity and type 2 diabetes. Clinical studies show that this bacteria can reduce fat, inflammation, and help control sugar levels. It helps keep the protective layer in our gut healthy and stable. 
So what exactly are the signs that you may be low in akimansia? This 2022 review showed that low levels of akimansia are associated with allergies, allergic asthma, dermatitis, psoriasis, and even psychological disorders associated with liver diseases, with obesity, with diabetes, and inflammatory bowel diseases. If you are suffering from any of these diseases, you may be low in akimansia. So how do we promote it? How do we raise the levels of it naturally in our body? Akimansia is unlike other strains of probiotics you can purchase as a supplement for. This is due to its anaerobic nature requiring growth in an oxygen-free environment like our gut. Okay. This makes akimansia challenging to produce in a supplement form. One company claims to have produced akimansia in a supplement form. It's called Pendulum Life. I will put the website's link in the description below if you wish to check it out. I'm not sponsored from this company, but it does have excellent reviews. Okay. However, other companies also sell Arkhamansi as a supplement, but always do your due diligence before buying any products. Okay, it's important. Did you also know that no food contains Arkhamansi? It must be promoted internally with the use of Arkhamansi producing substances. The most effective way to increase Arkhamansi is through dietary or medical supplements such as polyphenols, probiotics, prebiotics, specific dietary patterns, antibiotics, metformin, cranberry extracts, and numerous other ways. I will speak about a few of them if you wish to look, if you wish to further your research, I have included the link in the description. Okay, so let's start with metformin. Probably heard of metformin. Metformin is a commonly used medication for type 2 diabetes that has many other benefits besides controlling blood sugar. It has been shown to have anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, and anti-aging effects, among others. Research has also suggested that metformin may protect the mucus barrier in the intestines and reduce inflammation in the gut. Okay. This may be due to the way metformin affects the gut bacteria, increasing the abundance of acamansia. Metformin's anti-inflammatory and music protective effects are likely due to its impact on the gut microbiome, specifically by increasing acamansia. The next one is betaine, also known as TMG. TMG, betaine, is a natural substance found in many foods that help control how the body processes sugar and fats. When people take betaine, as a supplement and makes the gut bacteria healthier by increasing archimansia and other, and other strains of bacteria, especially bacteria that help fight obesity. Archimansia is vital in making sure betaine works well. They work hand in hand. It helps make short-chain fatty acids that control how DNA works, stopping obesity and the inability to produce sugar properly. In short, betaine helps improve obesity and related health problems by making the gut bacteria healthy with acamansia playing a pivotal role in the process. The next one is rhubarb, aka da huang, in traditional Chinese medicine. A mouse study showed that taking rhubarb extract can change the gut bacteria and drastically increase the abundance of acamansia. The study suggests that anthroquinone derivatives found in rhubarb were responsible for the increase in archimansia, but more research is needed to confirm this. The anthroquinone derivatives found in rhubarb are a group of chemical compounds with potential health benefits, such as anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial. Some anthroquinones are also used as laxative, which have a bowel-stimulating effect. The exact mechanism of how anthroquinone would work is not fully understood but they are believed to interact with various cellular processes and enzymes in our body. There are other ways to increase acumansia levels. Okay, There are many other ways. Okay, you just have to research it. Uh, for example, take a look at this December 2022 study again. The link is in the description. 
it shows that the following can increase acromantia. Acai extract, bilberry, black raspberries, peach peel extract, cranberries, green tea, black tea, quercetin, apigenin, which is found in high amounts in dry parsley, chlorogenic acid, found in high amounts in coffee, resveratrol, oatmeal, mango, pomegranate extract, and many more. So, in conclusion, as I said earlier, aging is a natural process that affects everyone, and scientists have recently identified dysbiosis as the new hallmark of aging. Acumantia has become a topic of interest in the field of gut health and longevity research, with scientists exploring its potential as a remedy for this hallmark of aging called dysbiosis. It helps protect against heart disease, metabolism problems, and gut issues. Having more, more of this bacteria in our gut has been linked to lower risk of age-related diseases. Therefore, maintaining a healthy gut microbiome by eating a healthy, varied diet and avoiding unnecessary antibiotic use is essential to preventing dysbiosis and maintaining optimal health. If you found the information in this video interesting, give it a thumbs up comments please and subscribe if you still need to so you don't miss future videos on health span and lifespan have a great day and see you soon in my next video stay healthy everyone